Yeah, the best basketball player I've seen is me. Is your video? But man. I think we could Yo, your thank video. You. Thank is you, the oh, boy man. mad at you? You t- you couldn't pass the ball. You didn't hey, have no time hey, to. Hey, yo, we taping hey, this. Yo, no time to. Yo, oh, thank oh, you, oh, thank oh, you. let me tell you something. Thank oh. you, oh, hold on, hold on, oh, hold on. Let me tell you something. Oh, the man, oh, the man you, oh, kept we, y'all in that game. It was his. It was his shots, his effort, and he was fly. I'm telling you, <laughs> yeah, he oh. kept y'all in that game. Thank oh, you, you saw oh. the whole game. Thank you. Oh. No, I thought a miss at the end, though. But yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. oh, I'll be trying to protect my brother, man. Yeah. You know that. Let me tell you something. Yeah. This is my brother, bro. This is like my big bro. So I'll be trying to protect him. <laughs> if he had highlights, you think he wouldn't have found them? <laughs> you, think, you think Murder wouldn't have got them highlights if yeah. it was highlights? Now Murder yeah. got some highlights. They just yeah. wasn't taped that day. They wasn't taped. <laughs> Come day. on, I was about to say I got some look, highlights. Look, I'm be honest with you. We missed the camera, bro. Yeah, like, if we, we missed that, the camera. If we got the camera, it would be crazy. Yeah, yo. we it would definitely yeah. be crazy. Oh, I shook a nigga so bad they jumped me after the game. Yeah, that's <laughs> true too. <laughs> I remember that. Niggas jumped me after the game. That, that happened. That's I a was fact. Going crazy. <laughs> that's a fact. <laughs> but oh. What I would like to say is thank you for recognizing me being the best basketball player from Harlem yeah. that you ever seen in your life. With your eyes, man. Yo. I appreciate that. Welcome back to It Is What It Is. This episode is sponsored by Underdog Fantasy. The app is an easy way to make some cash just by making picks on your favorite players. Underdog is available in more than 30 states, including California, Florida, Texas, and New York, just to name a few. Make sure to support the show by hitting the link in the bio and downloading the Underdog Fantasy app. It will also match your first deposit up to $100, and you get a special pick when you sign up. Of course, I'm Treasure Wilson, a.k.a. Stat Baby, along with your host, Cam, and soon-to-be Mace. Hopefully. How you doing? What's good, Stat? I'm good. How are you? Up, How was your weekend? It was great. I had a great weekend. What you How do? was yours? It went, was good. Just went out a little bit. Okay. You know, it was nice. Okay. Yes. And we are joined with our football analyst, OJ. Uncle Oh, what's up, Uncle Oh, What's happening? Yeah, what's going on? Everything All is you, well. I missed you. I thought I'd see you at my little Friday night haunt, which used to be Thursday and Saturday night. But now that I'm not playing uh, golf on Saturday morning, I I go to my spot, and you would have liked it. I, I would <laughs> listen every time. Every night. time I meet you, it's a great environment. I'll just leave it at that. The environment's great. But I got to get an itinerary on you because your golf days switch up from your hangout days. And one day you might be at the spot I met you at on Wednesday, but you're going there Sunday. I got to get an itinerary because you're moving around like you're younger than me. Yeah. Well, you, you, you'd be surprised how many girls got father issues and granddaddy issues. <laughs> Hey yo, I hey yo, now we gonna go there. I, I, I gonna go there. Now, now, now we gonna go there. Oh, I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna let the cat out the bag. But everywhere I meet, oh, I'm not saying he's with him, but it is some nice ladies in the environments that I meet OJ and I mean, see the thing about me, oh, at my age too is what I learned is I used to run around. See, I was I was a CEO and a member of a one of the greatest hip hop groups in history. So we ran around with 40 guys, 30 guys, like all the time. So now I run around when I go to spots, if I go to, let's say a club, let's say if I'm in Vegas, I go to Dreas. And now I'm surround myself with 10 to 15 to 20 females. It got so crazy one day, like, so one of my old friends is here, my man Tito, matter of fact, Tito been with me since the very, very beginning. So we're walking in the club and like I said, Tito's been around since it's been like 30, 40 of us. And we're walking in the club with about 25 females. There's four of us and 25 females. And Tito's so confused because he used to 30 niggas working with us every day. He's talking about, hey, is all these girls with us? I say, yeah, T, that's how we moving now, man. We, we did 30 niggas already. We moving 20 girls or better because I like to surround myself with beauty. He didn't figure it out till later on after about four or five drinks. Then he understood what was going on, and he liked it. And I'm not saying he he indulged in anything with any of the females because he's a happily married man, but I'm just saying that he understood where I was coming from. 
Well, I, uh, you know, I got my buddies, uh, my two main buddies I run with here, Mike and Mauricio, and uh, all of my magnets, you know, they, they used to call me bait. All my teammates, even these guys today, they call me bait because they control with me. And uh, new ladies show up for whatever reason, the ladies show up. So, you know, I mean, what yo, can I tell yo, you? All you can do is. In a nice way, <laughs> you trying to say you're a pussy magnet? No, <laughs> yo, you trying to no, say. No, I'm not <laughs> that. Oh, I, oh, you know, I, like, I like a stimulating conversation. Oh, uh, who's shit. that trying to plug in over there? Oh, who, man. Who is that trying to plug that, in over there? Who is that trying to plug, to plug in? in. <laughs> yeah. I need a close up. Yeah, oh, listen. look at my man. My man is just, <laughs> he's just, he's just, he's just fly. Whatever you do, he's flying these days, man. <laughs> jet lag, oh. <laughs> yeah, you know what it is? Jet lag. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, jet lag. Yo, you know? yo, yo, murder. So, so real quick. All I heard was poet. Um, OJ was a coochie magnet. Yeah, Cause you talk about he bring. Uh, you know, I, met a few, I, you know, I, I met all a few places, and there's a lot of girls already talking about his two guys is magnet. He said they used to use him when he, when he they used to use him for the girls and all that back when he was playing and all that to get the girls. So now the shoes on the other foot. Well, I didn't say used to. They still oh. do. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I I yeah. no, no disrespect whatsoever, <laughs> but it's kind of it's kind of cool while while you're here, real quick, uh, murder. Because I was playing a little Michael Jackson. You know, I, I got myself my own little soundtrack when um before before we start recording, and I said, "What you know about that?" Oh, he said, "I know everything about it." I was running around crazy. I was playing PYT. I said, "Well, who's your favorite artist?" He said. Well, if we gonna go favorite artist, I'm going Tupac. I'm from the Bay. <laughs> I, I said, "Oh, I didn't know that you was rapping the Bay like this, man." So I thought he was talking rap. I told him it's Messi, Mob, it's, it's San Quentin, it's all these. I was into the, all the Bay guys back in the day. E40, we were E40, all of the Bay guys. E40, back in the day. Forty Water, E40. Yeah. yeah. What you? What yes. about Mac Dre? I was into every rapper. Everybody that was doing it from the Bay, just like in football, I supported them all. That's what's up, man. And at, yeah, and at one point or another, despite all the women they uh, had, they used me as bait. <laughs> <laughs> Juice, you oh, putting yeah. twenty on pump ten balls <laughs> up. I, I, yeah. don't, I ain't gonna hold you, bro. I, I like this because oh. I've been waiting to talk this shit for a long time. Uh, yeah. Like, yo, it's a lot of shit. I'm like, before it's over, niggas going to know what a lot of people yeah. was doing, man. And we're going to get to that, man. That's a fact. Definitely. Okay. Well, you know I spent February, March, and uh, April in Miami. In Florida. Yeah, in Florida. Uh, yeah, mostly in Fort Lauderdale because, uh, because it's spring break. <laughs> And as I told you, you'd be shocked that how many of them girls got granddaddy issues. And I'm all right. Yeah. All right there. Oh, said the stats of the world got, got granddaddy issues. Yo, so, oh, 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 before, Chris, yo. before we even get to sports, I want to know, give me an example of a female that had a granddaddy issue that you, you encountered. You without giving us too without much detail. Without a name, without a name, without a name, or giving us too much. Give me, give me a, your name. You know, yeah, but how, uh, how you know, go? I'm, I'm minding my own business, and um, I'll, I'll give a, a, a this one from New Hampshire. It was one that I liked, so I gotta, you know, say I did like her, and it wasn't a fleeting thing. I mean, it lasted at least three days, and. Uh, <laughs> Oh, you do it three days? Hey, yo, oh. oh, yo, oh, I'm gonna get you that big oh, three days. It was I gotta get all that big horse power. <laughs> you had to go back to school. <laughs> go back. Oh. We try to keep up with something after that. Plan. Oh, sent them back to. <laughs> okay, hold on. Oh, where was oh. where did this? Where was y'all at? She's from New Hampshire, but where were y'all at? Were y'all in Florida? We're in South Beach. I mean, that's South Beach. We were on the beach, mm -hmm. and, and there's a street called Los Olas Boulevard. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. to me the best street in America. Okay, for clubs, and bars, and good-looking women, and hey, hey, 
Treasure, good looking guys. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> you got good food. Um, uh, and it's right there. It goes right to the beach. It runs off the beach, and there's just tons of terrific restaurants, great looking people. Then at the end, you got, you know, you got the beach. You got the main beach there at Fort Lauderdale. And uh, it's a little crazy there because it's, you know, with me, uh, um, you know, the boys get on my case, right? Uh, I don't know how to use this language. Uh, they yeah. call me, they be teasing me, and they call me the dick magnet. And I say, come on, <laughs> man. What are you talking about? Yeah. I get more girls, yeah. I get more girls coming than guys coming. So yeah, we hope, said, let's count. I, I hope, I so hope. We started count. is definitely girls we got more than guys. I, had, I was up to 78 girls, 420 guys. That's crazy. <laughs> That ratio as well. But there were fans. There were all these fraternities. You know, it's, it's spring break. All these guys down there, and they're all football fans. That's what. So up. that's what that was about. You know. So basically, but, but what, my you're, buddies all what you're trying to tell me this? Oh, when I want to go out and get some girls, bring you with me. Yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. if you want some fresh new girls. You know what I mean? Okay, say no more. They love Uncle O. Hey, OJ's been I'm outside going viral. in Miami. I'm going the more viral. you know, the more you know. You're going viral. Oh, I'm letting you know that. Okay. Granddaddy issues is the new one. Yeah. Granddaddy issues as well. Okay. Well, I'm happy you had a great time in Miami, but let's get into football. The Jaguars had a tough 31 point loss to the 49ers. So, thoughts on the Jaguars' loss, and then how do you feel about the 49ers right now? OJ first. Well, you know, uh, the 49ers let me down the last few weeks, uh, and you guys are going to dog me about this. But after what happened to Baltimore today and Cincinnati today, I'm sorry. I'm, so, uh, I'm sorry, Cam, about Cincinnati. But well, did they, uh, don't, don't yeah, be sorry. Yeah, don't be sorry for them. Not yet. Yeah. yeah it's they and, you know, every week it looks like somebody else is the best team in football. Now that um, uh, uh, the Niners, you know, they got Debo back. And people don't understand how important Debo, Debo is to that offense. Even when he's not doing a lot, he, because he can do so much, the defense has to uh, has to worry about him and has to put extra guys on him. And he was in that offense today, and you saw what that offense did, you know, when Debo's there. And now getting uh, Chase Young to help with the pass rush, that defense, that defense was unbelievable. I had a problem today because I have my quarterback in fantasy is Lawrence, right? And my my – actually top running back scored for me this year's ETN. So I had to make a choice and I had to, I had the 49ers defense, but I didn't run them. I ran Pittsburgh and I ran uh, uh, my uh, Lawrence and ETN. And I'm telling you, ETN, Barkley, uh, Lawrence, none of them scored as high together, total as high as the 49ers defense. And I think a bar an injury this is a 49er team that you're going to see in the Super Bowl. Oh, my goodness. So now you ready to put them back you. in the Super Bowl. <laughs> you're oh, back. you're ridiculous. You're so. They are back, man. Oh, what are you talking come about? On. Who, I knew who you was going to say that because you, you saw you McCaffrey back. Today. Now you got Purdy back. You think you got all of the pieces to, to, to beat all it. All oh, but pieces, it's not man. enough. It's not It's not enough, oh. That's not what are they missing? What are they missing? Well, what I will say is to agree with O a little bit. I was saying that to myself, like, <laughs> yo, because Debo came back. And when Debo's back, he, he, didn't, have, he didn't have a great game today. Mm -hmm. But just with him being on the field, I think it makes a difference for the comfortability of their whole team. Uh, when everybody's there, they look great, man. But this is football, O. Everybody may not be there. <laughs> every week yeah. that's the whole thing if somebody's missing with it so that's the excuse you're going to get you go get to the playoffs and d boy mccaffrey's hurt and look you can say that that's the reason they may lose but that's football somebody may not be there every week you know what i wanted to bring up to you oh is that how mccaffrey uh touchdown street ended Right after he broke your record, it seemed like he just wanted to break your shit yeah. and said that I'm cool. Soon as, as soon as he broke well, that record, though, 
the streak stopped. Well, as I said, uh, records are not monuments to people. They're goals. And a lot of people, once they get close to it, and I'm sure uh, he didn't think about it until he got close to it and they start writing about it. Once they start writing about it, you become aware of it and you're shooting for it. You know, as I told you last week, uh, uh, I I took a lot of pride, even though you never hear anybody talk about it. Gail Sayers was... Uh, my favorite player, I mean, my all-time favorite player. And uh, I really wanted to break his touchdown record, which I did. You know, at the time, it it was 22 and I got 23. But trust me, once I got to 15 and 16, I was pointing for that 22, you know. I, I wanted to get it. I was aware of it. And I didn't need the media to tell me I was aware of it because I was aware of virtually everything that was Gail Sayers. So uh, that that sort of is what happened. I, I'm sure he was reading as he was passing. Uh, I'm trying to think of some of the guys he was passing, getting close to me. Uh, um, he ended up, you know, it, he had it in his head. Not only him, but the coach and his teammates. You know, they want to see you break those records, and I'm sure they want to see him uh, break that record. And once it's broken, what are you shooting for? I don't know. <laughs> Yo, oh, do you think just after he broke it, he just took his, his his foot off the gas and just there was no reason to keep going? No, he was playing hard today. I mean, I don't think he had a whole lot of the opportunity. Is I mean, they scored 30-some points. It was a surprise to me that he didn't score today. But once again, I, I'm sure that the coaches, when guys are getting close to those type of records, the coaches become aware of it. I remember um, I had a I had a record for the most yards in a in a game. You know, I think it was two seventy three, and somebody it might have been Walter Payton was getting close to it in a game. Well, they had won the game and he was out of the game. But when the PR guy came down and told him that he was like twenty yards behind breaking that record, they put him back in the game and he ended up breaking the record. I think Dickerson ended up breaking it also, but that Dickerson's effort was in the heat of trying to win the game. He didn't go back in the game to break the record, you know. But uh, I always say you don't play for records. If you play to win, win or not, records will fall if you got, you know, if you got the skills. Yeah, and last question before um, Killer go. Um, which one are you most surprised by, Jacksonville breaking their streak? Or by um, 49ers winning? No, I'm not surprised with, with Debo back and the addition of Chase Young that the 49ers won. I was surprised about how, you know, I mean, come on, 37 to 3? I didn't think anybody could hold Jacksonville to three points. So mm -hmm. I think I, I was a little surprised about how dominant they were in winning the game. I was more surprised that Cleveland beat Baltimore. And certainly surprised that Houston we'll, we'll beat get to that. Oh, we'll, we'll, get to, we'll get to those yeah. games in a minute. Oh. <laughs> really, really what I will say is this, though. Yeah, I'm glad you brought that up because them with Chase Young yeah. is closer to the 85 Bears that you were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> That's getting them a little closer. I'm not saying they're the 85 Bears, but the addition to Chase Young is a big deal, and I will say that. Look, all phases of the game today, the – 49ers look – look, this is what I have to say about the 49ers. A couple things. 49ers look great. Uh, Kittles had three receptions, 116 yards, a touchdown. Debo, like I said, didn't have a great game. Brock Purdy looks great when everybody's there. The thing about the 49ers is, though, when everybody's not there. And yeah. it's not guaranteed that everybody's not going to be there. Um, you could say that about anything. Well, good. Oh, We're going to say it about yeah. – yeah, well, look – at the end of the day, the, leave the, my 49ers alone. Let's well, say well, that about the, 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 what you think of the, <laughs> you, think the, you think the show, you think the, you, think the, you think the show is the same when you're not here? Oh, what you think? Huh? <laughs> do you think the show is the no, same? I enjoy being there. No, no, I'm saying no. I, do, do you the think reaction I get on the the reaction I get on the street, people <laughs> like me, here. I like the show. So you know, you no, know, the people but like that's it, what I'm I trying like to it. tell you. Oh, my point is this: is I'm relating it to the 49ers. Yeah. It's a great vibe. Yeah. It may be better to people when you hear, right? Yeah. yeah. So, so I like to think so. <laughs> that, I knew, that's the answer I was yeah. looking for. 
That's what I was thinking for. As far as the Jaguars are concerned, look, they're still leading their division. They had an off game. Um, not scoring any touchdowns is disturbing. But look, yeah, yeah, that's disturbing. But look, they're still leading their division. I think they make the playoffs this year. Just ran into a 49ers team that had their full squad names ready for. Yeah. The Texans took a 30 to 27 victory over the Bengals with rookie quarterback CJ Stroud. So how do you feel about the Bengals losing OJ first? The fuck you looking at? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is you looking at, bro? Yo, bro, I what is, almost missed what my is, flight yo, getting what is, there. Yo, what is getting you there to tell you yo, about this. What is you looking at, man? Yo, what is you looking at? Go ahead. Go ahead. I can't, actually, I can't wait to talk about it, to be honest with you. Yeah, go ahead, yeah, on. I, I, I did. Everybody was surprised. I mean, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, D'Amico Ryan's the coach. He's got that team playing, you know, on all cylinders. The defense is playing. I mean, they gave up some points to Cincinnati, but Cincinnati scores on everybody. But that quarterback, C.J. Strode, is it? C.J. Strode. That man should have been the first. Yeah, he should have been the first guy drafted ahead of Young, it turns out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he is preemptive. Uh, to me, I don't, care, I don't care what happens from this point on. That guy's rookie of the year. He does not play like a rookie. That, that kid has got game, and the team uh, believes in him. They've got a couple of guys nobody ever heard of, Nico, whatever his name is. And all these guys are stepping up, uh, catching the ball, running the ball. And, you know, Ryan's been a great defensive player himself. He's got that defense playing like he used to play. So uh, that team is a big surprise. And at this point, you got to think they could make the playoffs. Cincinnati, I was surprised. I really was. I mean, I, I thought Cincinnati's defense would teach the kid a lesson, but they got taught. <laughs> All right, Mace. I want to hear what you got to say. Don't, well, no, I'm going last. Yeah. I wanna, <laughs> you got late. I want to hear, wanna hear how you explain go, this one. Go ahead. All you got to do is you go. I mean, he, I mean, your guy did pretty well. Oh my but God. Yeah. Your guy did pretty well. I mean, he came to play. He definitely came to play. I mean, when I look at when I look at um, let's start with Burroughs, right? So he got three hundred and forty-seven yards. I always make this um note that the first quarterback to two hundred and what twenty-five twenty-five yards normally win the game. I'm starting to pay attention to that. I think the um statisticians need to watch me because I'm on to something. And then when I looked at um. <laughs> Um, Cam's guy, he had two um, touchdowns, two interceptions, sacked four times. I mean, it's a lot I could say, but I'm going to let you talk a little bit. It sounds like you just, just got some stats and you don't have anything no, else to I, say. I do have something to what, say. Say what you're going to say. <laughs> he just proved he's no Pat. No, nah, the point is this. If they, they had about a minute and some change left, maybe two minutes, he put the ball in the guy's hands in the and end zone. Sure. No, he dropped the pass. Yeah. I guess you didn't see the game. So no, no I did. I'm I'm just saying the interceptions is what caused the game. No, no. Regardless of anything, in the fourth quarter, mm -hmm. with a minute and some change, maybe two minutes and some change left, they was at the 15, 16 yard line. He threw the ball and the guy dropped the pass. It's no other quarterback, well, well Pat Mahomes, of course. Yeah. More drop passes. They, they, the ball was in this guy's hands. Tyler, let's call him out. What's the nigga name? Tyler Tyler Boyle. This the Tyler Boyle need this, to drop this, an album. This, the niggas, this is why you got niggas talking to me crazy up here. You yeah. get what I'm saying? You got Mace talking yeah, to them yeah, crazy. You got niggas. They dropped the <laughs> ball with a minute and some change left to win the fucking game. And we wouldn't have to go into overtime. So I agree it was interceptions, but CJ Stroud threw two interceptions. What I will say is this. as no excuse. The Bengals lost. That's the most interesting division to me in football right now because Pittsburgh is is playing good. Um, Baltimore, Cleveland won today, which we'll yeah. get to. And look, the Bengals are still one game out of it, even though that they lost. Um, but what I think the biggest story is what OJ was saying is that we have to, and somebody must have said something on the page or something. I don't know what we said about the Texans. Maybe it's one of them shits with me and Mace was like, 
oh, we're not watching the Texans. And this, yeah, that, and it was early in the season. We yeah. talked about the quarterbacks, the ranking, the rookie yeah. quarterbacks. Without so now they're bringing we, them back up. Right. Yeah. We need to stop. And, and look, we're not one of those people that act like we're not wrong when we're wrong. Yeah. At least at least I'm not. I can't speak yeah. for other people. Yeah, he can't. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so the point being is, look, because of the Texans' history over the last years, since before, shout out to my nigga Dre Johnson, since – since he left, it's yeah. just been downhill. Deshaun Watson leaves. They wide receiver goes to Arizona. Then listen, it's just been a damn mess oh. over there with the yeah, Texans. And the massages and all of that. So the point being is that we probably need to start paying more attention to the Texans. CJ Stroud is doing his thing. And like I said, mm -hmm. we may have been talking spicy about him, but that's gonna stop. And now the microscope is on you. Because the Texans are back in the conversation and they might make the playoffs. But what I want to say to OJ and what I want to say to Mace is that no matter what happened today, Ohio won. Oh, my goodness. What school does he just to go to? Yeah, you're right. Ohio, <laughs> Regardless of anything, <laughs> we won today. <laughs> we, we didn't lose. So Ohio still yeah. won no matter what okay, happened. Yeah. If you, if you wanna, if you wanna, Another uh, one. That's how you want to look at it. Another one for Ohio. OJ's mad, man. That's how you want to look at it, baby. I mean, if that's yeah. what, oh, talk about that's how you want to look at it. That's how you want to look at it. Oh, that's a fact. What other way that's can you, you look, bro? You know? uh, hey, but Cleveland won. That's another Ohio. Yeah, so, yeah. You know. Hey, yo, listen, man. <laughs> listen, man. You go to power rankings. You know, me and Mace have our little uh, Mahomes Burrow thing, so that's why he tried to come at yeah. me. Over. But power rankings has Patrick Mahomes number one. Yeah, and Joe Burrow number two. So yeah, it's we'll, good. We'll and now win. you're and now you're um <laughs> now you're comparing them to CJ. No, so. I'm not comparing. I'm not comparing <laughs> them to he CJ. He had two I, interceptions. No, I'm not comparing. He did. I'm not All comparing right. them to CJ. I'm saying that Ohio won. Okay. Regardless, shout to Ohio State. All my people down that Columbus, stat, man. Right? <laughs> what did I, you what stat? I say? I said that he had two interceptions. When I said he had two interceptions, you said. Yeah, and CJ had two interceptions, so that's a comparison. No, it, that's a fact. I know. <laughs> this, this is not really a comparison. We read his stats off. I'm just telling you, I'm just reading the stats. And and at the end of the day, I'm just saying Ohio once because y'all thought y'all were going to get yeah. me. <laughs> and y'all wasn't. You're trying to find a way to spin it. <laughs> and there's no way to spin it. No matter who won hey, that man. game, Ohio won the game. <laughs> was a winner. Shout out to all my people on 25th Street, North Side, uh, East Side. You know what it is, Columbus. Yeah. Alumni right here, baby. <laughs> Alumni. Yeah, that was that was good. <laughs> yeah. I will say, yeah, we were definitely wrong about CJ Stroud. He's been playing exceptionally no, well. No, we weren't. But we weren't no, wrong. We were wrong. No, you were wrong. No, you were wrong too. Because <laughs> you definitely said Bryce Young. Like you said, other quarterbacks. We were wrong about him. He's been playing exceptionally well. And I think killed. the that argument was like 500 for five hundred yards last yeah, year. Yeah. Um, he actually has the second most passing yards this season. So he's been playing great. I definitely think he should be at the top for Rookie of the Year, and we'll see what happens, especially beating Joe Burrow in his 10th career pro game. Exceptional. See, so. I hate that. I hate <laughs> yeah. that. I hate that. And and then listen, it's, all, it's always Columbus before any other city in Ohio. I love I love Cleveland. I love Akron. I love Youngstown. I love Cincinnati, Dayton, et cetera, Springfield, et cetera. But this man had an opportunity to win the game. Boy, boy, oh boy. Boy. Yo, boy, boy, see the yeah, shit I got to yeah. deal with, boy? You should drop an AP. <laughs> yeah, you keep dropping shit, you fucking nail. Now we got stats, and the stats doing a job, but I got to hear this <laughs> going head to head. He beat Joe Burrow because you dropping shit. This is what we got to deal with in Cincinnati for the time being. Don't worry about it. But shout out to CJ Stroud, and we apologize for not recognizing and Mace won't apologize because he right. said that he <laughs> did. I will take full responsibility <laughs> for my behalf. I don't want to say Mace said he didn't say it. I'm going to say we were wrong. And since since you're doing such a good job, there's microscopes on you. Right. Yeah, don't, and, and don't you, start acting like the Lions did. They wanted all yeah. this attention. And then we put the microscope on them, and then the next week they fell right. apart. So we'll see what happens. Okay. The Giants losing streak continues with a 49 to 17 loss to the Cowboys. So the question that I'm asking first is, can you foresee the Giants winning another game? 
OJ first. <laughs> the guys are in trouble, especially at quarterback. Uh, they were in trouble at quarterback. I still, I think even with Jones at quarterback, they was uh, uh, in, in trouble at quarterback. Right now, I mean, you know, people may not say it, but you you got a lottery going. You got a, a number of teams, uh, Chicago being maybe the main one because they own Carolina's number one pick. But they're all after Cam, uh, you know, USC, Caleb Williams. Everybody wants this guy. Uh, he'll be the first guy drafted. He won't win the Heisman this year. You got Panic and uh, the, the boy from Ohio, I mean, from uh, Oregon. Um, uh, but you got about three or four guys that will probably be ahead of him. He may not even be invited uh, when they invite four guys to the Heisman thing in New York, but he will be the first guy in the draft. Chicago could get the first two guys in the draft, the way they're playing, because they're not going to win. I don't think it, they may not win another game there. They've won two, so they may get both Carolina's pick and their own pick, and I'm pretty sure they're going to take uh, Caleb Williams and um, Harrison Jr. from uh, – <laughs> Ohio State. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 glad, I'm, I'm State. glad you know we so, got somebody in the Heisman race, man. Yeah, my man Marvin yeah, Harrison yeah. Jr. Killing, yeah. killing. But yeah, so, uh, uh, so my point is uh, it, it, you do reach a point. Don't get me wrong. I think everybody tries to win. But I think some of these teams will reach a point when you got some exceptional player like Caleb coming out and like Harrison coming yo, oh, out. Yo, oh. uh, that, you know, they may, they, they you know, they may yo, start oh, half oh, stepping can, a Oh, bit. can I say something real quick? Yes, please. The Your question show. was, was the Giants going to win again, bro? Yeah. Like, yo, oh, did you, did you, well, you, my, still, okay. you did not yeah. answer. I, but I all appreciate what the I reason. Said, I, I get everything all you said. What I said yes. is, uh, I don't think so. Okay. Thank you. Man, we was on that for a long pause, <laughs> yeah, though. Damn, oh, we Titanic, <laughs> go. Well, I was trying to tell you a little bit of why they may not win. No, no, you, we you get know, it. And listen, mean. that was very important because yeah. everything I didn't know that they that uh, the teams you said had each other's draft picks. So you're basically saying you don't think they're going to win. But let me rephrase the question: Do you think they're going to lose on purpose? You think they're tanking? I don't think. See, that, you know, everybody say teams tank. You may recall uh, the the guy in Miami suing the NFL now. Uh, the owner was trying to get him to tank, but he wouldn't tank. You know, I you know why? That. Because they wanted uh, they wanted a uh, uh, tour. You know, everybody thought Tua was a guy, and they wanted they were allegedly tanking, but he wouldn't tank. Uh, he ended up getting fired, and he's suing the NFL because of it. Uh, so I don't, but, but you know, see, I let, think you let me say one thing about that. Yo, oh. you I can't it, tell you tanking because you got players out there. The players aren't trying to tank. It's a, the coach you could just help put the, tank the wrong by, players by the out players there, though. But how'd that work yeah, out? For, well, how'd that work out for Miami, though? They got yeah, two, they right? Ended up being great for Miami. Yeah, yeah, they they ended tank, up being great They got two. Now they looking like they looking yeah. good. But, but they didn't tank. That's the question. He didn't go number one, but they didn't tank. He wasn't number one, but I don't oh, think the whole the thing is guy. that they was he, whether Boy. he wanted to tank or not. Them niggas was sinking. Because they, they say they, they wasn't shit. They was trash. Whether they wanted to act like they wasn't taking, he talking about, oh, no, I know exactly you talking about. Oh, they wanted me to take. Yeah. You know, the owners talking about, we don't know what the fuck you talking about. They just yeah. they just act like he was crazy. And I get, I remember, I know, the, I know everything that you're talking about. Point being is whether he was trying to tank or not, it looked like he was tanking. Shit ain't work out because no, at the end, really he was going to get fired anyway. So he started blowing the spot up about tanking, but they ended up getting two, and now the Miami looks pretty decent. What I'll say about this game is this: I let Mace talk about it because I'm not going to talk about it. Giants ain't shit. They ain't yeah, got I no don't talk about the Cowboys. Yeah, I don't talk about the Cowboys and the Giants ain't shit. And now Dak all of a sudden will have 400 yards yeah. on a team that don't got a quarterback. Fuck out of here, bro. I'm cool. Only team in Dallas we talk about is the Mavericks. Yes, sir. I'm cool on that. The Browns beat the Ravens 33 to 31. How do you feel about the Ravens losing OJ first? Well, I was surprised. Uh, I didn't think the Browns could score 30 something points against the Ravens. The Ravens, uh, you know, I said last week, I thought the Browns may have the best defense in the league, but they gave up 33 points in the, that day. So that, that doesn't help that argument, but I didn't think 
I really didn't think uh, that Cleveland could score, you know, 33 points. I really didn't think they could. So I was really surprised that they were able to beat, uh, you know, uh, Baltimore. But as I've said in the past, when teams are in the same division and they play each other, the records almost don't mean anything. You're going, especially that second game. Now, look, what happened to the Giants? I'm sorry, that, that goes against, because I think they lost the first game 40 to nothing, and then they lost this game, what they, you know, 40 something to seven. But generally speaking, when teams in the same division, uh, no matter who wins the first game, that second game is always much tougher. You know the guys, you know the, uh, the players you're going against, and, uh, you pretty much know their offense. You know the defense. So uh, it, it becomes who gives the, the the best effort and who gets the breaks. And Cleveland certainly did today because they were, they were getting swallowed up there in the beginning, but then they kept working. And then your boy, I, I got to say, Deshaun made mm-hmm. a couple of key plays. He made a couple of key plays for him, and that's why they paid him that, what, half a billion dollars or whatever, quarter of a billion dollars. Uh, that they uh, kind of indicated, uh, I mean, at least sort of showed what they wanted from him uh, when they decided to pay him that money because he did make some key plays to help win that game. So, oh, according to what you're saying, based upon what you just said, at what point is he like a star player and what point are you like just managing the game? Because with everything you said, well, he still only had about like two hundred yards. But they won. I mean, so, so like you can't, you can't <laughs> count um, uh, a, 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 per, a Purdy's yards because it really doesn't do much. You want to talk about yards? Look at um, look, look at Lamar Jackson. He's having games. I got a buddy who got him in fantasy. He's pissed because he's having these games where he's his stats are nothing. But they're winning, <laughs> you know. Yeah. So you can't complain. I mean, they're winning, but his stats are kind of sorry. So um, it's it's what you do when you do it. Uh, 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 Deshaun made some key plays, a couple of scrambles, at a real you know key time in the game, and got them first downs. And uh, um, uh, like uh, Lamar, he makes great passes. But he don't get a lot of yards passing. But it's the passes he make at key moments in the game that that matter. What I'll say about this game is this: that I called this game the half a billy game. You got two quarterbacks that got quarter billion dollars, one more than a quarter billion dollars, <laughs> and this is the half a billy game. Who is going to show up? Yeah. And what happened? What I looked at is this: is that the Ravens. This season, they've been up three times and blew their lead three times, and that's what caused them their three losses. They don't finish off. Like Lamar Jackson, I believe he was like one for seven with 11 yards in the fourth in the fourth quarter. And Deshaun Watson was seven for seven, and he showed yeah. this is why this half a Billy is here. You have to play when the game's on the line. And like you said, oh, they, they them, well, he, Deshaun showed up when it counted. What I think about Deshaun Watson is this. It's kind of like, and I'm not comparing them just yet to Joe Burrows, and most of the time with football, people get injured as the season goes on. Joe Burrow, Deshaun Watson started off the season pretty much injured, and I think they're getting stronger as the season goes on. That's just my opinion. But I just think it was a dual fourth quarter. Deshaun Watson outplay uh, Jackson, and when you don't quarter Billy Boyce, this is what they come to see, what you're going to do in crunch time when the game's on the line. Now, as far as the points is concerned, you had the number one offense playing the number two defense. I mean, pardon me, the number one defense playing the number two defense. So I'm surprised even one of them got that many points, but that's what you want to see, who could beat the best defense. So I give the, I give yeah. the game ball to Deshaun Watson today. Yeah, and, and to no. think about how he came back in the fourth quarter, I think that adds even another wrinkle in the whole thing to say that, He got more, he got, they was down 14 and they won the game in the fourth quarter. Let us know. That's why they pinned. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, you're all good. So let us know what you think about the Ravens and the Browns. When we return, we will talk about Belichick's possible departure from the Patriots. Don't go anywhere. 
She called this thing about was toxic. Four years and counting. Got you feeling like an option. Maybe I'm my own problem, babe. She tired of hearing I don't know. My stubborn in me won't fall. Oh, oh. Dealing with this thing called trust. But she really thinking about she it. She wanna be free. Welcome back. So let's get into our underdog fantasy picks of the day. This afternoon, the Knicks will play the Celtics. Underdog fantasy has Jason Tatum at 26 and a half points. Do you have him higher or lower, Mace? Um, lower. I'm going to go lower. He's averaging 27 points right now. Mm -hmm. um, against the Knicks, though, he averages 22.7 a game. I'm going to go lower. Lower. Also, use code CAM. Well, underdog fantasy, if you want to win some money, <laughs> I'm telling you against the Knicks, he, he ain't that spicy and he only averaging 27 <laughs> points right now. So go lower. It doesn't really look good. He may, I, I can't tell you he's not going to have a breakout game, but history tells us that he's not going to do it. Underdog fantasy, use code cam, put up $5. They'll give you 10 and win a bunch of money. I'm telling you, it's been working for everybody all year. <laughs> See, there you go. Okay. Jalen Brown is at five and a half rebounds. Do you have him higher or lower camp? I'm going lower. He He's uh, against the Celtics. He averages three rebounds per game, 3.7 rebounds per game. So lower, definitely low for his career. Not just with the Knicks for his career overall. I'm going to go higher. Okay. And Jalen Brunson is at five assists. Do you have him higher or lower? Mace? Lower. Jalen Brunson. That's he's exactly. going to shoot the ball. He's not going to have assists. He's averaging four assists, so I'm going to go lower as well. Yeah. Okay. Make sure to download the Underdog Fantasy app, and you can make your picks too. We are joined back with our football analyst, OJ. Okay. So there are some rumors that Bill Belichick and the Patriots will part at the end of the season. They currently have a 2-8 and eight record. So, one, could you see this happening? And if they do part, what do you see Belichick doing next? OJ first. Well, I don't see him going to another team. Uh, I think he'd leave the game uh, if that was the case. But from what I know about Belichick, uh, Belichick is not going to go out a loser. I think uh, he's going to try to do at least one more season uh, and try to turn things around. Uh, he has been a winner his whole career. He's a competitor. And let me tell you, he's one of the nicest guys I've ever met. You know, you see him on the sideline. Uh, when he's not on the sideline, he's, he's a pretty congenial, nice guy. I had to interview him once when he was a coach of the Cleveland Browns. And me and my producer, we went uh, to his house in Cleveland, and it was a snowstorm. I mean, it was crazy. And when we got to his place, his then woman that he was living with, uh, I don't know if she was his wife. I think she might have been his wife at the time. They couldn't have been nicer. I mean, he showed me a bedroom. He said, no, you guys stay here. Don't drive to the airport. Don't fight that weather. Uh, I mean, you couldn't have, he couldn't have been nicer. I mean, and uh, we left anyway. I mean, and we made our flight. That was a big thing with me to never miss a flight. I guess it had something to do with Hertz and running through the airport and all that crap. But uh, uh, this guy was a great guy. I do not see this guy leaving the NFL a loser. And this season will be a losing season for him. And I, I just don't see him doing that. I think he'll hang around and try to turn it around. He'll make some adjustments. Maybe he won't do the draft. Maybe he won't be the, the, uh, the, uh, 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 the manager of the team, you know, the general manager, maybe he'll just be the coach, but I, I don't, and I don't see Kraft firing him. I just don't see it happening. You want, you want me to go? Yeah. Oh, this is not going to be good. It's too much work to do, especially at, with this team. He would have to do a lot, especially if he, the, <laughs> the people that he's already selected turned out to be a bust. So, I mean that's 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 asking a lot at this late in the stage with that with that unit of team that he have. 
Pack it up, Bill. Pack that shit on up, man. 71 <laughs> years old, man. Don't stress yourself out. You should call my nigga OJ and see what you could do when your football career is over. Because you are a football <laughs> gem. But yeah. you're going to drive yourself crazy trying to get back to where you was at. Look, let me, where's it at? Your record without Tom Brady is 82 and 97. Pack it up. Yeah. You, told, you went with Mac Jones. I thought you knew what you was doing. You sent Cam Newton packing it up, blamed it on COVID, and said you was going to go with Mac Jones over Cam Newton. Shit not working out for you. Now what niggas are saying is that you're not a good GM, that you should just be a coach, and you look like that type of guy that says, look, if I can't buy the groceries, don't ask me to cook the food. I don't know, you want me to cook the food, give me the groceries. I know you want to be the GM. I know you're like, nobody would know Tom Brady without me. I'm the one who found I'm, Look, you're getting older, nigga. You got to get some young niggas that know what's going on to do that for you, and you don't look like that type. Now, yeah. OJ say you a nice guy and all that shit, but you look real stubborn when it comes to your football team. And I can't blame you. You know, you you play with Lawrence, you coach with Lawrence Taylor. You didn't have that much success when you was with Cleveland. Had a tremendous success when you got to New England. But those days may just be in the past. I would call my nigga Juice, Uncle O, and girls with these granddaddy issues. You know, it sounds like a <laughs> love of your life. Oh, what is it? Osala Boulevard down there in Fort Lauderdale? Los Olas. Los Olas. Los Olas. Yeah, you know that. Los Olas. That been on Los Olas. That been on Los Olas. That been on Los Olas. been on Los Olas. Yo, but Bill, <laughs> I, I, I think you're a tremendous coach. But the thing about it also, a lot of people don't know what to do after their life coaching because they've yeah. been doing this so long that they've been going home and they're like, Hey, you want to go grocery shopping? Hey, how about we go? And a nigga like pushing a shopping cart like, yo, I'm getting in a minivan right now. Niggas is sitting at home yelling at the TV because they're so used to seeing plays being called every Sunday. You have to talk to some people who have a successful or not necessarily successful, a happy life after football because Bill, Bill remind me of my man British. You don't look happy unless you unhappy. You want them people that got to be mm -hmm. mad to be happy. So hopefully you find some some something after football that makes you happy. Me personally, I don't think Bill going to motherfucking place. Bill is one of the people yeah. like, I got to win one more. Tom won one more. I have to win one more, and I don't know what's going to happen you with him. You think he's competing there. with Tom? Yes, yes. It's and like he, that Kobe he, and um, yeah, Shaq. Shaq. Yes, yeah. he's definitely competing with Tom. And if he say he isn't, he's lying because when Tom Brady first left, that was all people were talking about. We didn't have our show yeah. yet. But that was the, who's going to do better, Bill Belichick or Tom Brady? Who Belichick, Bill Belichick, Tom Brady? Belichick, Tom Brady. Tom won the Super Bowl on that ass first year he got out of there. Yeah. So Tom Brady already solidified his career after Belichick. Now Tom retired. Yeah. He's like, I already did what I had to do. But I think in Bill's mind, he has to prove to himself, not other people, more himself, that I could win without Tom Brady because so many people told me that I couldn't. And he got to prove it to Tom. When they go golfing. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I don't think, I, I really don't think Tom hang with niggas. I think Tom, they like, yo, you try to go out my back and get with Garoppolo. Look at Garoppolo now. Look at Garoppolo. You really thought that was who going to take my spot, nigga? You're out of pocket, man. Wes Welker, all these stories you hear about Bill Belichick are not necessarily good stories when they leave. Now, they don't shit on Bill because Bill gave him the opportunity, but it's a bunch of receivers that, Tom Brady had over the years. Even Gronk can say a little yeah. slick shit about Bill. But they don't necessarily diss Bill, but they'll throw little shots in there. I don't think they're going to play golf, in my <laughs> opinion. They might, but I don't know. Okay. Tom might want to play golf if he doesn't win another championship. Yeah, chance. that's what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. They're inviting yeah. him over yeah. to just yeah. ask him how was the season. Yeah, yeah, but that's the type of What are of you shit. doing in the future? That's why them shits nigga be, oh, you being funny? <laughs> 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 like, yo, oh, you a funny nigga. So, yeah. So we've talked about players and we've talked about coaches, but we're going to pivot real quick to fans. Panthers fans are planning a march in protest of their team losing this season. So they've only won one game this season so far. An official statement from one of the organizers says, we love our team, but it's time to demand better performance on the field. Let's show our passion peacefully and push for change. So thoughts on this March idea. Hold on, let me, I'll go first. Niggas doing a peaceful protest on the Panthers. <laughs> hey, yo, hey, yo, a peaceful protest yeah. on the Panthers is wild, yo. Because, you know, and I'm not going to say no names or stir up no feelings or nothing like that. But this is when 
it's really a crisis with people. Yeah, get when together. people start it, protesting, yeah, they it's, come with, it's they serious. They pick up signs, they pick they signs and all this stuff. But I am telling you, though, is I'm very intrigued to see how this goes because for them to get to this point, yeah. the frustration has to be at an all-time high. That you, who set up the protest? We would like to get you on the show. The yeah. person who set this protest up, please hit us on the Is What It Is page or our email. We would like to know how this came about and how it's going to go moving forward, because I'm very interested to see how this goes. Nigga said, we're going to have a peaceful protest. Yeah, like, did y'all give them a warning? Did this they give the them a warning. warning? This is the warning. Oh, if niggas don't start winning. <laughs> they, they won one game, well, they said, yeah, they said yeah. go ahead, oh, go ahead. It ain't going to do any good, because <laughs> this, is a team that, this is a team that needs a lot of help, and they trade away a lot of their draft choices. Right. They could have the first pick this year, but they traded it away. Chicago has it. Uh, because, you know, they... they uh, Who did they, they get in return? Get Bryce Young. Oh, Bryce. my goodness. What I would say about yeah. this... Always and Bryce is not bad. You know, you can't dog Bryce until they get some players around him and until they get an offensive line. Their offensive line. He ain't my, sucks, he ain't my nigga man. CJ in Texas, yeah. I'll tell you that. So my point is, they can't turn that team around. Like you say, Belichick uh, right now needs too much help in New England to turn them around, even though I think they got a pretty decent defense if they had some offense. But uh, the Carolina needs a lot. They needs a lot. And they trade away their capital. When you know, I, when they traded they away a number of their draft choices. What I want to say is this. And I know, and it's a peaceful protest, which I respect. What up, bitches? Hey, baby. <laughs> yeah. What I, what I say is this. Is that I understand it's a peaceful protest. And, and um, it's, it should be. But an ass whipping sometimes may... Help shit out. Yeah, kick one of them niggas' asses down there for losing jump, my accident. Jump Just, one of them I, niggas yeah, is what you're saying. I, I'm not promoting that. <laughs> not, I don't want to say I'm promoting that. Let a linebacker get jumped at a bar randomly. <laughs> let, let, a, let a random cornerback get smacked but for, for no reason walking down the street. <laughs> they just may, yeah. That shit may change up. Now, I'm not saying that's what to do. That's not. I'm absolutely totally against that. But sometimes lessons not learned in blood don't get learned at all. Yeah. Well, it has happened with kickers. It's happened with kickers who've blown games. I knew when I got to Buffalo, uh, this guy Boots Lustig missed the game-winning kick, and uh, they they got him in a bar, and, they and he never played again. <laughs> he never played again, so, man. They kicked his butt. <laughs> so that's what you said. Oh, that's he never that's played again. So, oh, well, you know, you ain't gonna jump on no defensive end, or no, you know, offensive tackle. You ain't gonna jump on none of them boys on the street. You pick the guys that you can whoop, and you probably can whoop most of the kickers. Well, whole thing so about those it are is, the guys oh, that get it. Oh, hey, pause, man. Them niggas oh, drill, they they drilling out there. Oh, you don't know what they niggas kicking nigga and they calf, you. my nigga. It's a whole different era. Oh, oh they, they, they'll attack a defensive lineman, man. I'm telling you. Right in the cap. No. You don't know these niggas with these Pushaisty masks. I'm going I'm to send you some links. Pushaisty masks outside. The, that, no, that side <laughs> shit don't matter no more. Pause. Oh, you fucking up the town business, man. Outside, outside the line. <laughs> yeah, but listen. So basically, oh, just to ask you, because you mentioned the kicker, and position pause doesn't really matter to me. Are you, are you suggesting an ass whipping? <laughs> Well, I, I don't suggest anybody. Oh, thinking brass anybody, knuckles. Yo. Look at <laughs> that. Matter. Oh, from but that I've era. I've seen kickers blow games. I've seen kickers. We've seen the last couple of weeks kickers right. blow games. And, uh, you know, if I was them, I wouldn't be hanging out in any bar, especially in light of the attitude of this country right now. People are, people are looking to get in fights. <laughs> Yo, who said in light of where the country <laughs> is? Niggas said stay out the bars, nigga. <laughs> People are fighting over everything now, yep. you know? So, a very different topic. Former NFL star Earl Thomas's ex-wife and her new boyfriend reportedly stole $1.9 million from him. His ex's wife's boyfriend was tried and arrested for identity theft, forgery, money laundering, credit card fraud, computer fraud, and bank fraud charges 
and he stole from his retirement account. So thoughts on the situation. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, well. <laughs> oh, look, the rest. Look at all. <laughs> That, oh, was, that must have been good. <laughs> Whatever, she must have been good. <laughs> she must have been good because obviously she was a crook. And he married her. So, hey, man, you, that, that's on him. That's on him. So, so listen, <laughs> listen, I'm, I'm glad we brought this up, oh, because we didn't have a chance to bring it up because it wasn't really football related. But we're going to start, you know, when, we, yeah. when you're here. Touch on some of the other to, topics. Right, and... And it wasn't necessarily still. I want to get back to this because uh, we had a female on our show, uh, Joe Smith's wife. He was mad she was on OnlyFans, and she didn't tell him about it. But her back was against the wall, so she says, and she needed to get money to pay for their bills in the house because he wasn't making any money. I'm asking you this because of, and she used to be a former uh pornography star, an adult film star, before he married her. But he knew that when he married her. The reason I'm bringing this up is because I just heard what you said about what he said. He said it must have been good to get him to do that. <laughs> Did you hear about this story? With no, Joe I didn't. Smith? Okay, okay. We'll, we'll leave it no, alone. I, 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 I thought I'm wasn't sure if you heard about it. I haven't. Look, yeah. man, this, this, what I want to say is this. It's, it's a lot of scorn females, and I'm not sure how their relationship ended. But do we have any more info on that or just no? She, we just know she stole shit. She stole. He was arrested. She no, wasn't. but wh- oh. how did the relationship end with him? Bef- don't we don't know. I okay. Find it. When you say he was arrested, you're telling me her new guy they was, was together? While they was together, yeah. she so pulled a pistol guy, out on The new guy kind of showed him how to, how to orchestrate getting Earl's money. What I would say is this... Um, one, uh, one other producer for the show, Bub, um, our social media guy also, he just informed me three years ago that she pulled a pistol out on him when they were together at the um, at a Baltimore Ravens game. I would say this, my personal opinion is she think he pussy. Like, yo, my nigga, she pulled a pistol out on you. <laughs> Now she taking your shit whenever she get a chance. Why she even got that much info? I understand it's your wife, but listen, man. At the end of the day, when the shit is over, you have to put a certain lock and key on all your shit, everything. I just think she think he pussy. Pull a pistol out, now her new boyfriend is robbing him, identity theft. I don't she know. definitely knew she could get away with it. Yeah, like, hey, look, look. And listen, it was the right thing to do. But look, he said... Calling the police. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to handle this. I know how to, I know how to handle this. Yeah, that, that, that may be another indicator that he's scared of her. Yeah. Because he, that was his first. Um, well, well you got to keep your finances separate. I, I've always felt that uh, the easiest thing to do is keep your finances separate. You should never, uh, especially if the other person isn't really contributing uh, to uh Whatever that pot of pot is in, in 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 the bank, you should always keep your finances uh, separate. Okay. Oh, but what do you think she thinks of her ex boyfriend that she stole of? What What do you think her mental is like when she thinks of him with her new yeah, boyfriend? Psychologically. Like, like, think about this scenario. I'll lay the scenario she's out. Moved like, on, man. He got arrested. She moved on. We we know that. No. If he no. was arrested, she don't have nothing to do with it, and she's moved on and. She's looking no, for you. No, no, no. Oh, no, I think oh. I, th- I think you're misunderstanding the situation. She's no. with her new boyfriend. She convinced her. No, no. The, the she new, convinced the new, the new boyfriend, boyfriend to go rob her old boy, husband, which was in what? the NFL. Her husband. So she did. And he got arrested. Yes, the new boyfriend. The new got boyfriend arrested. got arrested. And she gone. She's going to claim she had nothing to do with it. <laughs> uh, <he hosted> it. <laughs> oh, said she I heard y'all niggas correct. Y'all ain't hear me <laughs> correct. Yeah, she <laughs> she finessing. Hey, hey, she looking for you now. Oh, not you, Mace, but Cam, she looking for you now. Oh, nah. nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you smart. You smart, man. You been in finessing. Listen, man. Uh, look at this girl. Look at her history. Let me tell She's you something, man. On. Let me tell you, you something. You cannot be sitting in the court while that man is being prosecuted. 
She gone. Any any girl that's trying to get over on me, I got this nigga, my friend. His name is Duke the God. He don't believe nothing. If she if a girl come around me and tell me she like me, I'm turning the radar and they Duke sniff out. Do she really <laughs> like me? Because he don't believe nothing. She Cam, she don't really like you. You know why she's here. Yo, Duke, she wears size seven. You believe that's a size seven? Look at her foot. She's lying about her foot size. She wears a size eight. Nothing's going to yeah, get past Duke. Yeah, what else Duke. is she lying so, about? Yeah, so therefore, anybody who comes in my direction, I'm putting, calling Duke with the riff radar. He goes, do, 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 do. Riff. Everything's riff. I got, one day I'm going to bring him on the show when I think he won't say something crazy enough to get us canceled. I'm going to bring him on the show. I ain't worried about no girls trying to get me. I got that nigga right there. He don't believe shit. <laughs> Well, Bring him to Summerlin one of these days. You uh, met him. Oh, I bought him. I bought him. You met him. Oh, that day. Oh, that's who that was. Yeah. Wait. Did I? I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, it was me, him, and um my assistant that girl. day. The girl. The first day I came to get the um. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that was him. Yeah. He was yeah. quiet that yeah. day. He probably didn't believe yeah. you was OJ. <laughs> He's one of them niggas. Yeah, he, Yo, Kim, that, was, that, was, that wasn't OJ. You sure that was OJ? He's one of them niggas. <laughs> nah, it looked like oh, yeah, OJ, but you good. believe yeah, it? <laughs> yeah, nice, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was him. You met him already. Well, to OJ's point, I definitely agree. She is gone, which is crazy because she definitely gave her new boyfriend all of his information and she's facing no punishment. No, she gone. She Pe gone. People just got to be careful with. You know, where they decide nah, to... She's going to move on. <laughs> yeah, she what has. she's done. <laughs> right. Okay. Nah. In the comments, let us know what you think about the situation. We're going to go to break. And when we return, we will talk about the Lakers versus the Suns. She called this thing about toxic. Four years and counting Got you feeling like an option Maybe I'm my own problem, babe She tired of hearing I don't know My stubborn in me won't fall, oh, oh Dealing with this thing called trust But she really thinking about She wanna be free Why am I here? This woman she wanna be free Away. I, I wish somebody told me the rules. Disagreements let her win, then it's cool. Even when I'm right to Welcome back. So switching gears to basketball real quick. The Lakers beat the Suns 122 to 119 for their in-season tournament. The Suns and the Lakers currently have the same record. So thoughts on the game and them having the same record. What I'll say about the game is that I watched that game and you know, it's a few things that when I watch when I watch previous sports shows before we watch started doing this show, it's like I used to be like, why do they talk about this so much? Why do they talk about that so much? Why now I see why LeBron James is a topic a lot, or not the Cowboys here, but LeBron James in certain players. LeBron James, I watched that game. Nobody wanted to win more than LeBron James that night on his team or against his team. Mm-hmm. Now, Kevin Durant, that's my man. He's, he's always going to do Kevin Durant. I think he had 36 or 38 points. I'm not much sure one or the other. But I'm talking about on a nigga face pause. LeBron James just wanted to fucking win. And what LeBron is realizing at this age is, because he says it after the game, every game, he's like, yeah, all y'all acting crazy saying I shouldn't have passed the ball to Cam Reddish when – we lost the other day. You see, I passed it to him this time, and y'all don't know what the fuck y'all talking about. So what LeBron James has learned is that I don't care what's going on. I'm I'm at war with these guys, whether they're good or not good or decent or not decent. I'm going to have their back. And at this age, he's, he's doing such a phenomenal job. And he played the whole fourth quarter, two games in a row. We got these young guys, and not necessarily young. You could be young. You could be mid-20s, early 30s. It's no reason LeBron James should be playing all these fucking minutes for them to win. But that just goes to show the will, the tenacity, the effort, that how bad he wants to win. For me, uh, the Joker's having a great season. Luka's having an exceptional season. Joel Embiid. For me, right now, eight, nine games in, just because of the will, and I'm not sure if they're winning, they have a losing record, which they probably do. 
Um, LeBron James is my MVP just off his tenacity, effort, and what he brings to the game. Playing four, all, all the minutes in the fourth quarter of the last two or three games, exceptional, man. Much salute to LeBron James. And my last final word is, it's an Ohio thing. That's, that's what we do there. That's what we do. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, let me start by saying this. Kevin Durant, stop laughing with LeBron. I want to start with that. Every time LeBron makes Kevin Durant laugh, it gets me upset because they lose. Just go and watch all the tapes. Whenever he gets to talking to KD on the side, he's trying to, you know, Paul, soften him up. I know he had 38, but KD just got to take over the game. Um, I think KD at this point, is a, his legs, paws should be a little bit fresher than LeBron's. And he just, KD, you got to take over the game. And, yeah, and I think also if this team, this team wants to be a success, they're going to have to make some major moves. Right now they got a lot of key pieces. This will be a good time to bust some moves, especially with all of the personnel that you can move around. Because, you know, this team alone will not be standing in the end. I'm willing to put – my Chanel pin on it, LeBron. Y'all will not be standing there when it's all said and done. High old thing or not. <laughs> Listen, you ain't got no argument with me about, about that. What I'm you saying, said he's your MVP right now? I, yes, right now. He's yeah, my LeBron MVP. is balling. LeBron. Um, I, I mean, category, category, cata, I don't even know how to say Categorically, there we go. Yeah. He's not going to win MVP. The, the team with a winning record is going to get MVP. I'm just saying, yeah. niggas, I, look, have we, a, a, a great question is this, and I don't know. If it has been, it's only been one game. Have we seen Kevin Durant, Bradley Beal, and Devin Booker play together yet? No. Exactly. It's always somebody hurt. It's always an excuse. Anthony Davis rips hurt. He only plays a couple minutes off a game. LeBron James is 39 years old in less than a fucking month, bro. And he's out there looking like hungrier than anybody on the floor. And I'm not saying that people are hungry on the floor, but you see it in his facial expression. You see it in the will to play. This nigga in the lane. This nigga threw it through, yeah. was like through traffic, bro, the other day and later. Like, I'm just saying the energy and the effort I'm seeing. Will he win MVP? I doubt it. But first eight and nine games, he has my vote just off being 38 years old and going this hard. And there'll be 39 in a month. And out of curiosity, OJ, I'm just curious, would you choose the Lakers or the Suns? Which team? Uh, well, as the year season goes on, uh, the Suns, uh, everything goes to health. If the Suns are healthy, I have to kind of lean towards the Sun. I cheer for the Lakers. But like he said, LeBron is 39, and I've seen the effort that he's done thus far this year. But can he do that? over an 82 game schedule and it, it's just a matter of when Davis is going to get hurt and a matter if just he's going to get hurt just a matter of time damn right yeah his uh, fingernail going to get hurt so i would have to give them the edge i'm a, i'm a, hey look who's your I'm team who's, who's your i'm just about to say who's I'm your a team warrior. i'm a warrior man i'm from san francisco <laughs> yeah. i don't get me wrong i cheered for the lakers i cheered for the lakers man i mean i never saw unlike somebody on this show I never saw Jerry West miss a game-winning shot. Here we go. I'm Michael Jordan for that. Here we go. Here, here we go. Unlike we'll like somebody on this show. <laughs> Yo, listen. Or unlike somebody on this show. Jerry who West I got one championship, man. I, I thought he was balling, and he balled until that last shot. Well, and who you murdered. talking about, oh? Well, who you think I'm talking about? The guy you were mad at. Yeah, you still mad <laughs> to this day, uh -oh. but to this I don't day. think you would have been in the From what I can see, yeah, we what I can see, and anybody go on the internet, they should look at this. But what I can see, Cam was balling, and y'all wouldn't have been in the game. Thank you, oh, uh, so it wouldn't have been no last shot Yo, oh, if it oh, wasn't for him. Oh, you spread your you net everywhere. Oh. He did miss it. He did miss it. <laughs> hey, yo, oh, listen, man. Let me let me ask you a question. This <laughs> this is what I will ask you right here, right? And and I, I'm gonna end it. I don't know, makes a, a staff son say I'm walking out and getting my bag after this. The, uh -huh. the, I don't know the score of the game. <laughs> I don't have no idea the score of the game you played or anything like that. <clears throat> but I'm going to bring up a game that I, I seen some footage of or heard some footage of 
that you played, and we talked about it on this show before. Your quarterback was four for 21 with 29 yards, right? You had 276 yards, right? It's, it's fourth down and three on the three-yard line, and y'all down five points. Are you trusting your quarterback to throw it, or are you going to say, give me the ball to give run? Give me the ball. If you don't get the touchdown, we could live with that because you just had 276 yeah. yards and the quarterback yeah. had 29 yards. This is me and Mace. Mace is the quarterback. Well, that's <laughs> what I, 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 <laughs> you wouldn't have been in the game. Yo. Mace, y'all wouldn't have been in the game with one of you. Yo, oh, you that's crazy, that. yo. You didn't see that coming. Yo, that was crazy. I didn't see that set up. <laughs> you were 4 for 21? <laughs> nah, I wasn't 4 for 21. You was four about for 21, was Mace. Mace. It wasn't his yo. game. He had good games. That wasn't yo. one of them. It the was coach. one of them. The coach to this day cries when he see me. He said, you know what? You were supposed to be in that game. I played the seniors. That's crazy because I was a sophomore. (laughs) So how'd that work? That's crazy. Just telling you what he told me. If you want to be crazy, if you want to be honest with you. Yeah. Our coach, our coach started getting high, so our real coach wasn't even our real coach wasn't even playing. Our coach got addicted to crack that year, and we was playing with an interim coach. So and he was re- coaching, and then he got suspended, and he was coaching us from the bleachers with another coach on the bench. Yeah, no, that was the second coach. So, all right, cool. First coach got 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 addicted to crack. He probably was on it, but the year he recruited me and Mace. 15 days into the school year, not basketball season, he couldn't control himself. Cracks falling out, nigga getting high. He got kicked out, so his man took over, and his man that took over was feeling on, maybe some girls had some granddaddy issues, but they was too (laughs) young to have granddaddy issues. He started fucking with the students. He got fired. So then we had to deal with Mr. Gladden, who was really the athletic. Doc. It was a mess. Yeah, it, it was, was a mess. mess. It was a mess, man. It, it was, was a mess. hot mess. But so. we made it to the chip. That's all that matters. Yo, oh, thank you for being here, man. We <laughs> appreciate you, you again, man. Thank you, guys. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Always, yeah, man. Always. Amazing. Thanks, yeah. OJ, for being here. That's all the time we have for today. Thank you all for watching. And as always, it is what it is. Uh, uh, next. Uh, like when they doing them two for five.